a few things. As far as we are concerned, we only uh, fly Airbus aircraft, and we have an Airbus fleet, AC20, AC21, so we are not affected by that very event. But at the same time, I don't think this is good for the whole industry, because I think what is going to result in, that you're going to see much more regulatory scrutiny uh, coming into the industry, and we we'll slow things down, uh, and we we'll make things much more difficult than before. Can I ask you about routes? You've been opening routes. Um, how many more? What, what's, what's the schedule look like for the rest of the year in terms of these hops between European cities? Right. So at the moment, we are operating a network of over 700 roads. Just uh, in the last 12 months, we opened 125 new routes. We churn some of the routes, obviously, uh, depending on, on the performance. But we continue to pioneer the, um, uh, the build-up of a European uh, network. So uh, if you just look at our presence in the United Kingdom, since the Brexit vote, uh, we've been growing the business by 34%. That's pretty phenomenal compared to the rest of the industry because we, see, we continue to see a very upbeat market. We see strong consumer demand and we continue to react to consumer demand. And Karen talked about the, uh, the fight between aircraft. What about the, the fights that are taking place on aircraft? Can I ask you about this? Because it seems to me that, I mean, I know you recently had a passenger uh, who refused to sit down, I think, for a landing and then the landing had to be aborted. Other airlines are struggling at the moment, it seems to me, managing uh, drunken passengers. Um, do we need a new sort of zero tolerance strategy when it comes to drinking at airports or drinking on aircraft? Because these stories continue to right. happen more and more frequently, it seems to me. Is that becoming a problem for you? Look, I mean, I, you know, what I would say is basically twofold. I mean, on the one hand, as we are democratizing air travel and we make travel accessible to, to anyone, and, you know, we are carrying around 40 million passengers this year, yeah. I mean, you're going to get diluted uh, in terms of, you know, behavior, etc. cetera. Uh, but at the same time, I think we are taking actions on these uh, misbehaviors. So we are blacklisting people. Mm -hmm. If they misbehave, if they become abusive or aggressive or drunken and uh, threatening, then we take actions and then no, uh, no longer they will be allowed to fly with. So, Luton to Budapest, to sort of think stag do straight away when you see that, that route. But uh, I want to ask you about Brexit and practically what that means. October 31st, the date some people are planning on, others think that date may not be the date. What does that mean for you as an airline trying to plan around Brexit and exit? It feels a little bit like shooting on a ghost, uh, to be honest, because we simply don't know how Brexit is going to turn out. Uh, so the best you can do is to play on contingencies. Uh, we are looking at Brexit from two perspectives. Uh, one, um, how to remain intact with regard to access to the markets. We created an airline, Visa Air UK, so now we, we are operating two airlines, a European airline and a UK-based airline, and I think that enables us to continue to, uh, to fly the markets no matter what, whether this is a soft or hard Brexit. And secondly, you look at ownership and control, as we are a London-listed uh, company and we are an EU uh, company with, uh, with that regard. Um, we have laid down our contingency plan with the European Commission. The Commission approved the plan, so I think we are in good shape. Uh, to activate those plans should we have to, but again, we simply don't know how Brexit is going to play out. But we are, I think we are totally prepared for that. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.